What's up guys, it's Rob here, and today I've got to make a video on a massive, massive mistake that a ton of people are apparently making that I was completely unaware of until I read this article that I'm about to show you. And unfortunately, a ton of people are making a massive, massive mistake with their money, and you guys are probably, at least hopefully not if you're watching this video, falling victim to it, but you'll be surprised too to hear that 26% of concert goers plan to take on debt to attend shows this summer. Now, this doesn't just have to do with concert goers, right? This is just a mentality that people have that it's okay to take on big swaths of debt or spend large sums of money that you potentially don't even have uh, to do non-essential things like attend a concert and you want to do those things just because it's fun. But what a lot of people don't realize is that you could potentially be putting that money to work by investing it and ending up in a much, much better, more comfortable position when you reach retirement age or even just a later age in life than you otherwise would if you blew all of your money when you were young attending all of these concerts and even worse, going into debt to do it, right? That's absolutely the worst thing you could do, going into debt to attend uh, fun events and that kind of stuff. I mean, that's the last thing you should be going into debt for. And I just wanted to show you guys the average cost of a concert real quick in 2019 was about $96. Now, in 2021 or 2022, since we've seen a whole bunch of inflation, my guess is it's past the $100 mark but we will assume it's just $100 for these calculations. We're going to do a quick calculation to figure out how much money would you have if instead of going to a concert a month or going out to a fancy meal, whatever it is, whatever people are blowing their money on, how much money could they actually have if they just invested that $100 a month? Not a large sum of money, right? About $3 a day, uh, a little bit more than that, $3.30 a day maybe, uh, every day for the course of 40 years, right? Instead of doing all that nonsense and taking out all that debt, they just put the money into an investment account, invest it in the S&P 500 over the past, uh, well, over the entire course of the S&P 500's existence, it's gotten an annualized return of about 10.5%. So I just put in 10% here. And if you actually calculate that $100 investment over the course of 40 years at 10% gains, you end up with half a million dollars, 531 thousand dollars now that's not a guarantee of what will happen in the future but if things go somewhat similar to how they did in the past you should expect a somewhat similar result right it's not a guarantee but uh it's certainly a better option in my opinion than blowing all that money on concert tickets especially going into debt to pay for concert tickets or anything right even if it's just a fancy meal or paying to go to a fair or whatever it is you know you guys really shouldn't be going into debt to do that kind of stuff that's just some common sense uh, that a lot of people apparently have not yet heard you know I think it's absolutely ridiculous that people are doing that please don't do that to yourself guys not financial advice just my personal opinions and other than that I hope you have a great rest of your day I'll see you in the next one bye